figure out why am I awake. Oh, book review. Gotcha. <clears throat> Guilty Pleasures by Laurel K. Hamilton. This book was initially published in 1993. That's not when I read it because I would have been eight. Yeah, I'm old. Anyway, I got around to reading it in the early 2000s and it was the start of a love-hate relationship. I loved the book at first. I love everything about the book. We meet Anita Blake, we meet Jean-Claude, we meet Edward, we meet a bunch of the, the supernatural beings that would become a staple in these series. There was a lot of action. Anita was a very like hard as nails, kick ass, you know, type of main character. It's, it's too early. Anyway, I love this book. It's old. There's, I don't know, 23 in this series now. I haven't read them in a while because the whole thing just kind of, you know, jumped the ship, shark, whatever the, the, the saying is. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, if the paranormal horror mystery thing is your bag, I would definitely recommend these books up until like number 16. Number 16, and I'll cover all of them at some point, but number 16 probably be my, my breaking point. This one I gave a 5 out of 5 because at the age I read it, and then I reread it a couple times after that, it was still a very, you know, powerful thing to have a heroine that was, you know, as awesome as Anita was. Was is the key word. Was. Goddamn.